NVIDIA has just announced the RTX 5070 during CES, claiming it can match the performance of the flagship RTX 4090. This bold statement has sparked curiosity and skepticism in the gaming and tech communities. In this video, we will compare the RTX 5070 to the RTX 4090. We'll discuss the GPU's specs, benchmarks, and real-world performance to see if NVIDIA's latest GPU truly lives up to the hype. Let's get started. The RTX 5070 introduces NVIDIA's groundbreaking Blackwell architecture, featuring fifth-generation tensor cores that deliver 988 AI tops of performance. The design incorporates advanced neural shaders, fourth-generation RT cores, and a streamlined dual-slot form factor measuring 242 millimeters in length. The GPU's thermal solution is engineered to maintain a maximum temperature of 88 degrees Celsius while operating within a 250 watt power envelope. The RTX 4090 is built on NVIDIA's Ada Lovelace architecture, representing the previous generation's flagship design. It features third generation RT cores and fourth generation tensor cores, housed in a significantly larger triple or quad slot design, depending on the manufacturer. The card typically measures around 304 millimeters in length, making it substantially larger than its successor. Its thermal design power reaches 450 watts, requiring a more robust cooling solution to maintain optimal operating temperatures. The RTX 5070 comes equipped with 6,144 CUDA cores and operates at a base clock of 2.16 GHz, boosting up to 2.51 GHz. It features 12 GB of next-generation GDDR7 memory on a 192-bit bus, delivering 672 GB per second of memory bandwidth. The card includes one 9th-generation NVIDIA encoder and one 6th-generation decoder, supporting advanced features like AV1 encode and decode. The RTX 4090 packs 16,384 CUDA cores with a base clock of 2.23 GHz and boost clock of 2.52 GHz. It utilizes 24 GB of GDDR6X memory on a 384-bit bus, achieving 1,008 GB per second of memory bandwidth. The card features one 8th generation encoder and one 5th generation decoder. The RTX 5070 introduces DLSS4 with multi-frame generation, capable of generating up to three additional frames for every traditionally rendered frame, increasing frame rates by up to eight times. It supports Reflex 2 with frame warp technology for reduced latency and includes full ray tracing capabilities with neural rendering. The card features DisplayPort 2.1B outputs supporting up to 4K resolution at 480Hz or 8K at 120Hz with display stream compression. On the other hand, the RTX 4090 supports DLSS 3.5, which can generate one additional frame between rendered frames and includes frame generation technology, but lacks the advanced multi-frame generation capabilities of the RTX 5070. It offers similar display output options through DisplayPort 1.4a, though with lower maximum refresh rates at high resolutions. Both cards support NVIDIA's Studio drivers, broadcast features, and G-Sync technology. But the 4090's implementation of these features relies on older generation hardware encoders and RT cores. The RTX 5070 with DLSS4 multi-frame generation demonstrates impressive frame rates in recent titles. Based on tests in Cyberpunk 2077, it achieves a leap from 27 frames per second without DLSS to 243 frames per second with DLSS 4 enabled at 4K resolution. In Marvel Rivals testing, it consistently delivers around 248 frames per second at 4K with maximum settings. 
However, in raw rasterization performance without DLSS, the card performs significantly lower than the 4090 as expected from its smaller CUDA core count and narrower memory bus. The RTX 4090 remains the superior performer in raw rasterization, leveraging its CUDA cores and memory bandwidth. In Marvel Rivals at 4K with maximum settings, it maintains around 186 frames per second using DLSS 3.5 frame generation. The card excels particularly in non-DLSS scenarios, maintaining higher frame rates across various resolutions and offering better performance in memory-intensive applications thanks to its 24GB frame buffer and wider 384-bit bus. The RTX 5070 launches at $549, positioning it as a mid-range option that delivers exceptional value, especially considering its performance capabilities with the new DLSS enabled. This pricing strategy makes high-end gaming more accessible to mainstream consumers. The RTX 4090 was launched at $1599, representing a premium flagship pricing tier. Despite its higher raw performance capabilities, the significant price difference makes it a less attractive value proposition for many gamers. NVIDIA's DLSS technology has evolved significantly, with the RTX 50 Series GPU introducing DLSS 4 and its revolutionary multi-frame generation. This advancement marks a notable improvement over the single-frame generation found in DLSS 3. In DLSS 3, as seen in the RTX 4090, single-frame generation creates one AI-generated frame between each pair of traditionally rendered frames. While this effectively increases frame rates, the reliance on a single interpolated frame can occasionally result in visual artifacts such as ghosting or motion blur, particularly in fast-paced games or complex scenes. DLSS 4, featured in the RTX 5070, takes a significant leap by generating up to three additional frames for every traditionally rendered frame. This capability can boost frame rates by as much as eight times compared to traditional rendering methods, delivering smoother gameplay and more responsive performance. Moreover, the increased number of AI-generated frames enhances image stability and reduces visual anomalies, delivering a more immersive gaming experience. For the average gamer, the difference between single-frame and multi-frame generation is often noticeable during fast action sequences or in highly detailed environments. The smoother transitions and fewer visual anomalies provided by DLSS 4 create a more fluid experience that many can perceive. However, in slower-paced or less graphically intensive titles, the difference may be subtler to notice. After comparing these two powerhouse GPUs, it's clear that NVIDIA has achieved something remarkable with the RTX 5070. Despite having fewer CUDA cores and a narrower memory bus, this $549 card manages to deliver competitive performance against the $1599 RTX 4090 in supported games, largely thanks to its advanced DLSS 4 multi-frame generation technology. While some may debate the legitimacy of AI-generated frames, the real-world gaming experience speaks for itself. Smooth, responsive gameplay with impressive frame rates at high resolutions. The RTX 5070 excels particularly in modern titles that support DLSS 4, often matching or even surpassing the 4090's performance at less than half the price. Yes, the 4090 still maintains its crown in raw rasterization performance and non-DLSS scenarios, but the value proposition of the 5070 is undeniable. For gamers looking to experience high-end performance without the huge price tag, the RTX 5070 represents an incredible option forward in price to performance ratio. Thanks for watching. What's your opinion on this latest RTX debate? Share it in the comments. Subscribe for more updates like this.